Okay, so here's our table of contents, so make sure you have that updated. So we are going to get this page right here, function notation. So this is going to be on page 37. Okay, so page 37, page 36 had this. And then page 37 will have this function notation. So we are going to take notes on function notation. So function notation is when you have f parentheses x and then y. So whenever you see f parentheses x, what that means, whenever you read it out loud, it'd be f of x. Where f, uh, where f stands for function. The function of x. So we just say f of x. So f is your function. x is a variable and y is a variable. So x is what you put in. So it's your input, which we know is also our domain. And y is, whenever you put an input, you get an output. And y is also the range. So f, parentheses 2 equals 7, is read f of 2 is 7. So what that means is if the input is 2, because 2 is your input, it's your x, the output is 7. f of x equals 9 means if the input is x, the output is nine. So X and then output is nine here. So then this is opposite. So this one is if the input is nine, the output is Y. So you have an input x, output y. Input 9, output y. So that's what function notation looks like. So let's do these examples here. This says f of x, and we have a table. g of x, we have a mapping. h of x, and we have a graph. I'm going to highlight these. F of X, G of X, H of X. So whatever function it is, it's named by the, the letter F, G, or H. So we're going to use these three different types of functions. <coughs> and we are going to uh, find out if the input is a certain number, what's the output. So let's do F of 0. So that means the input is zero. 
So we go to the F table, F of X. If the input is zero, what is the output? Negative two. Input zero, output negative two. Then we need to do F of one. If the input is one, what is the output? Three. Okay, let's do G of five. The input is uh, five. So we need to look at the mapping, the G of X. So G of five, where does it map to? And yes, it's four. Then we have H of negative two. So that means when the input is negative two, which is X, negative two, so we're gonna go on the X axis to negative two, where does it cross? So it's right here, which would be positive one. So this means we have negative two, positive one as a coordinate. Negative two, positive one. <coughs> okay, the next one, G of nine. So I need to go to the G. Is there an input of nine? No. So what does that mean? Nine predicts. Nope, because mappings are just discrete. So it's undefined, there's no answer. Okay, H of 1.5, so that means I need to go where X is 1.5, so go over 1.5. Okay, it looks like it's right there, so that's one, two, three and a half. Seven is different from the rest of them. It's G of something gives us negative two. That means the Y value is negative two. So we're going backwards. So negative two, we're gonna go backwards. Yep, it is seven. Eight, H of something gives us three. So let's see, that means the Y value is three. So go on the y, value, y axis, go to three. It actually goes through the y three, two different places. Because that's three, but y is also three on that one. So there's two answers. It would be zero and or comma. two or comma, yeah. The H of negative one. So now we need to go on X is negative one. Where is X negative one? X axis. Positive two. Then F of something gives us one. So that means that the Y value equals one. So Y value equals one, anywhere? It's undefined. Undefined. You, but what we have here is just points. We don't have anything else with that. It's just points. So that's why. And the next one. 3G of 5. So what do I need to do first before I do anything with this 3? I need to find what G of 5 is. What is G of 5? It's 4. 4 times 3. 12. So we did G of 5. 
So I go to G, I go to five, that matches with four. And it says three times G of five. Well, G of five is four, so three times four is 12. Okay, the next one, six F of negative one. F of negative one. That means I need to go to F, negative one, what do I get? Zero. So I do six times zero, which gives us zero. Okay, let's go to the next one. G of three plus H of one. So I need to go to G of three. G of three gives us two. H of one. So H, I need to find out where X is. X is one. That is one, two, three, four. H1 is positive 4, and it has an operation of plus there. 2 plus 4 is 6. So far, so, so good. Okay, let's look at this next one. This has a bunch of things. It has all the functions, and then it has 0 in there. So what we need to do is we need to do the most inside parentheses. So we have F of G of H is zero. H of zero is the one that we need to start with. Let's see, H of zero, that means X is zero. Zero. X is zero, where is it at? Nowhere. It's at three. So we've done the H of zero is three, now we need to do G of three. G of three is two. So this is two. Then our last thing is the function of two. F of two. That's four, yep. That was several steps for that one problem. Okay, the next one, F of G of three. Let's see. We need to do G of 3 first. G of 3 is 2. Good. Now we need to do F of 2. What's 4? Okay, so this is F of G of something gives us negative 1. So we, we can't do the inside one because we don't know what it is. So instead, we're going to do f of something to get negative 1. Negative 2, yeah. So that's negative 2 there. f of negative 2 gets negative 1. So then what gets g of something gives us negative 2. Uh, Wait, no, seven. Zero. Seven. seven, yeah. Because G of seven is negative two, F of negative two is negative one. So it's G of <laughs> seven. Okay, and then let's look at seventeen. Two of f of three. So f of three. Do we have an f of three? Uh, no. Uh, so undefined. since there's nothing, you can't do undefined plus something. Um, so the whole thing is undefined. Let's do h of negative 4. So h, we're going to go where x is negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Oops, couldn't see that. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. That's negative 1. Okay, so we've 
done that. So f of negative 1. F of negative 1 is 0. Times 3. Which is 0, yep. <laughs> H of 3 times G of 3. H of 3, so let's go where X is 3. 1, 2, 3, right here. Ah, I can't even see that. Right there? That'd be 2. And then G of 3 is 2. Is 2. So G of 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. All right, so let's solve this next one. Let's see what we can do here. 2, f of 1. So we need to find out what f of 1 is. 3. f of 1 is 3, yep. f of 1 is 3. Please stop. So 2 times 3. What's 2 times 3? So we have 6 plus 5 times h of something gets us negative 4. So it's kind of like an equation. Well, it is an equation. So how can I solve this so I can find out what H is? You solve it. Yes. Minus 6 on both sides. 5. 5H of something gives us negative 10. Divide by 5. H of something gives us negative 2. And then... How do you get negative 2? So y is negative 2. That's right here. What is that? Right here. What is that? Negative 5. Because h of negative 5 gives us negative 2. Okay, we're not going to worry about 21. Okay, so go ahead and glue this in. And your assignment today is going to be on the worksheet, just number four and five right now.